S3 and R4, and you can think of this as points X, Y, Z, W. some of the squares you see will want. So it's a straightforward generalization in these cases. The problem is in these cases I did earlier, you can see it. And here you can't. So I want to show you a way to see it, but it's going to take me a while to get, get to that point. So let me uh, drop back and motivate what I'm going to do. This is a standard trick in mathematics called identification spaces, but I, I, I don't need the fancy terminology. What I'm going to do is think of a map of the world, which is not going to come out too well, so I, let's say this is Alaska, uh, I don't know, Florida, South America, Africa, Europe, Australia, China. So this is supposedly the world. And this is the standard way one draws a world map. However, as everybody knows, uh, let's, let's suppose that that's on the, on the ocean. So Mediterranean or something. So this is quite easy to put here. But if I have two ships, and one is right here and one, one is here, and this ship is sailing east and this ship is sailing west, what happens when they both reach this point? In reality, okay, they crash. Because, in fact, when you do a world map, the understanding is that this point is the same as that point. And this is a convenient thing to use if you're trying to draw pictures that really belong in higher dimensions. And again, the, the, the surface of the Earth is two-dimensional from a mathematical point of view, but it, it sits inside three dimensions. So we have to make these kind of concessions in order to draw it. This turns out to be very useful. I want to look at... Well, let me take a uh, take topic of cancer and have going on. Let me remove this from the picture. Okay, and so in reality, <coughs> what does this strip at the top actually represent? In, in reality, if you think of this on the, on the surface of the Earth, what is this? Yes. I'm sorry? Uh, I want, the, the, this line would be, say, the Arctic Circle, but I want to include all of this stuff. So if I include everything here, where am I looking at? The North, yes. North Pole. Huh? Yeah, it makes that mean that it don't. Uh, yeah, dome. That's, that's great. That's great. It, it's, it's, it's a dome at the top of the Earth. In fact, let me, let me sort of indicate that. Well, I'll, I'll make the North Pole here so we can look down on it. It's a dome that looks like that. If I were to draw these lines vertically, see that on the top, they come together like this. In other words, this line at the top is really one point. And the ones below it, if I take parallel lines below it, I get circles of increasing radii. So is that, is that okay? Is everybody with that? Okay, so now, and by the way, the same thing happens on the bottom. So the way I think about this is I can, uh, pictures show that I can take S2, that's the surface of the Earth, by taking two disks to, well, I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot to, one of the key parts. I said I'm going to remove this part. But if I actually remove this part and hold it in my hands, what do I have in my hands? And this is where you have, you have to remember that what's on this side is the same as what's on this side. Yes? Yeah, it's a cylinder. Because when I pull this out, I mean, this, this is what I pulled out of here, but the things here are the same as the things here, and the things here are the same as the things here. This is the same as this. So the way I can, I can see that is I can just lift it up and fold it together. And I can glue this point to this point and this point to this point. And I wind up with a cylinder. Okay, so I can view S2 as taking a cylinder and glue 